Hey everyone, it's Hannah from Is It Bad? Thank you so much for watching this week's episode, or actually last week's episode, I guess. Is it bad to use soap on my cast iron pan? I know the answer is a little surprising depending what you've heard from people, but it's actually not that bad to use soap. You want to watch out for abrasives and scrubbing really hard. That's what can be more damaging to the surface. Um, you guys left, ooh, do you hear that thunder? It's big storm here now. Um, you guys left some great questions in the comments and I want to talk about a few of them. First off, Hapa SD asked, does this also apply to carbon steel pans too? And yes, it does. They, it's, they have that same surface, thin coating of oil baked on that makes them non-stick and you want to treat it the same way. If you need to use a little soap, that's okay, but avoid scrubbing it too hard. Uh, Sir Noobs asked, does this also apply to stainless steel pans? And the answer there is no. Stainless steel pans don't get that very thin layer on them that makes them non-stick. They're not quite as porous. They don't hold on to the oil in that way. Um, so they don't have a seasoning, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It means they're not non-stick like a cast iron or a carbon steel can be, but um, they're also easier to take care of. So it's kind of a pros and cons situation. A couple of you made the point that well-seasoned cookware doesn't have to be oiled after every use, a well-seasoned cast iron pan, and that's, that's important. That's a, good, that's a good call. Once you have your seasoning built up and once you have that nice layer on top of the pan, you don't necessarily need to oil it after every single use. I don't think my mom's oiled hers in 20 years and they look beautiful because she's got that nice seasoning on there. Um, but if you, and that's the cool thing about cast iron pans, you can have a nice seasoning if you do something wrong, if you ruin the seasoning, you can always bring it back. A couple people noted to always dry the pan after washing. That's very good advice. You definitely want to dry these off. Um, and a few of you mentioned that salt is a good way to clean your cast iron pan if you don't want to use soap, and that's a really good point. You want to use something with larger crystals like kosher salt, and you can use that to actually scrub the bits off the pan. And um, the salt is abrasive, but it's not abrasive enough to ruin the surface. So that's a good, that's a good tip, too. I apologize. I'm going to say this name wrong, so I'm sorry in advance. But... Karsten von Fjellheim said, my mom was trying to peel off decades of buildup on one of her cast iron pans. She sprayed it with oven spray and put it in a garbage bag and forgot about it for two years. Is it salvageable? Has the oven cleaner penetrated too deep, too long? Can it ever recover? Can it be used as a pan again? So I spoke with Mark Kelly at Lodge, the manufacturer of our winning cast iron pan about this, and he said because of the length of the time the skillet's been coated with oven cleaner, it should be disposed of, unfortunately. Um, even after cleaning, the iron can be so saturated with the oven cleaner that it'd be impossible to remove the chemicals. So better safe than sorry, you, you're going to need to throw that pan away. Bad news there. But I also talked to Mark Kelly about Conquisidor 223's question, I like that name, um, Question or, yeah, it is a question. I said, I like to leave my cast iron grill pan in the oven to burn as the oven cools down. Then the next time I use the pan, all the food debris is burnt in. It's very easy to scrape off. Is this bad? He just rinses it with water after. And Mark said, no, this isn't bad. Um, he said, he, though, he would clean the grill pan the next day because if you leave a dirty pan, you know, you're inviting all kinds of critters um, in there. So not a bad thing, but good to do it promptly for sanitary reasons. Um, another interesting note from Koba Kobayashi, who said, using an oil spray is a convenient way to oil a cast iron pan thinly after washing. This is a really, this is a really cool note. Um, sometimes you put on too much oil and then it's sticky and then dust collects in it. It's hard to get just a little bit over the whole even surface. So I, I really like this idea. But you want to make sure you're using regular canola oil in an oil mister, not a nonstick spray, because nonstick sprays has, has other things in them that aren't good for a surface, the surface of a cast iron pan. So, Sasha Morris 3 said, is it bad to use liquid measuring cups for dry ingredients and vice versa? So the answer is, it is more accurate to use the correct cup, to use dry ingredients in dry measuring cups, liquid in liquid measuring cups. But it kind of depends on what you're doing. Like if you're just trying to approximate ratios, it's not that big of a deal. If you're baking, it matters a little more and you want to have things be most accurate as possible. I would suggest if you are baking or even if you're just a regular cook, looking into a digital scale because weighing things is super accurate and it can actually be even easier because it's less transferring. So if you're measuring flour, you have to scoop it out of the bag, level it off, put it in the thing. But if you're using a digital scale, you can just put your bowl that you're making everything in, put it on the scale, tear it, measure the flour right in there. It's less transferring. It's a little tidier. 
So look into digital scale. And depending on what you're doing, it is kind of bad. You might want to stick liquids in liquid cups and dry in dry cups, unless you're, unless you're just roughing things out. All right. Christian Rivera said, is it bad to reuse frying oil? And no, it's actually not bad. Um, it's a great way to be economical, not wasteful. We use our frying oil here about three times before we throw it away. Um, if you fry fish, you might want to do it sooner. I just fried some fish at home and I smelled the oil and it smells like fish. So you definitely want to chuck that. But no matter if it's fresh oil or if it's uh, oil you've used before, always give it a smell before you use it because if it smells fishy in any way, you don't want to use that. It's going to make your food taste off. Henry Sanchez said we should do something on rinsing chicken. This is a very interesting point. People always want to rinse chicken, but don't do it. We've done this test. Do not rinse your chicken. Here's why. People say that you want to rinse it to get all the bacteria off and it's been sitting in the bag and it gets all gross. But if you rinse it in your sink, you're actually just spreading that bacteria everywhere. It's better to, and when you, you cook it, the heat will kill off all the bacteria anyway. So rinsing it isn't doing anything. The other thing people say is it's been like sitting in those juices, which can make it taste bad, but we cooked two chickens. One we rinsed, one we didn't rinse, and we could not tell a flavor difference. So it's not good for cleanliness reasons, and it's not good for flavor reasons. Don't bother, don't rinse your chicken. So cast iron pans in general, they're really awesome. They're really cool. Definitely try one out. I threw away a cast iron pan that was in my husband's family for years. It was rusty. I thought I ruined it. Don't make my mistake. If you, if you mess up, these are really forgiving, and you can typically bring them back. So stick with it. I have a new pan. I'm really learning how to do it. It's super interesting. There's definitely a learning curve, but it's really, it's really fun. So make sure to stick with it if you mess it up, and don't worry about it too much. Uh, cast iron can be really, really fun to cook in. All right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out our next episode. Is it bad if my sheet pans are all messed up? Are your sheet pans wonky? Are they going boing when you put them in the oven? Or are they getting dark? Mine are really dark. Is this a bad thing? Is it a good thing? Find out next week. Thank you so much for watching.